talking about it and so on. Subhanallah, big debate. The whole world is shocked because of this coronavirus. Now. When the lights go out, it's you, babe. Every time I'm down, it's you, babe. Every hey, yo, what's up? What's up everybody welcome back to the channel it's your boy jesse keegan and we are funny jesse so right about now we're going to do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction guys i want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel you guys are really amazing super super amazing and thank you so much for giving us the uh, suggestions that uh, we normally react to and you know it's just it's just nice it feels so good that uh the people out there who actually uh really want us to react um uh, on some videos and whatnot you guys are just really amazing so today we're gonna do another reaction so today we're gonna do a reaction video this one was suggested by a lot of people they suggested that we should go react to is Allah punishing the world yeah so apparently you know what is happening in the world is the coronavirus which is just everywhere it's just spreading uh rapidly all over the world and uh the who they have actually declared it like it's a world um what do you call the uh, epidemic or something like that so um yeah so let's see uh what this video is telling us is Allah punishing the world so without any further ado guys let's get it I love you Dear brothers and sisters, dear everyone, these days, everyone in the world is talking about what? Is talking about coronavirus. They are talking about measures to stop it, measures to protect themselves from it. Some countries banned uh, people from traveling to other countries. Many countries banned other people to come to their places. Everyone is wearing a mask. Everyone is talking about it and so on. Subhanallah big debate the whole world is shocked because of this coronavirus now there is something missing in all of this what is that where is allah jalla wa ala in all of this who caused this who can protect ourselves from it what is the real cure no one is mentioning anything about allah jalla wa ala and Allah Jalla ala is the one who created everything. Allah Jalla wa ala says, Allahu khaliqu kulli shay. Allah Jalla wa ala malikul mulk. He controls everything. Allah Jalla wa ala says in the Quran, wa ma ya'lamu junood rabbika illa hu. No one knows the soldiers of Allah Jalla wa ala except himself. Allah Jalla wa ala send punishment on other people by ants, by different created beings. This could be a punishment from Allah Jalla Ala. It could be a punishment from Allah Jalla Ala. It could be a reminder from Allah Jalla Ala. It could be a mercy from Allah Jalla Ala because Allah Jalla Ala wants us to remember Him and to go back to Him. The whole debate is being secularized. There is no place for the religion of Islam in this discussion. Subhanallah, Allah Jalla Ala mentioned few verses that will solve this debate. First of all, Allah Jalla wa'ala says, قُلْ لَنْ يُصِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا هُوَ مَوْلَانَا وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكِّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ This verse is more than sufficient. So nothing happened without the will of Allah Jalla wa'ala. The second question is, why is these things are happening? See, my dear respected brothers and sisters, there are calamities that befall individuals and there are calamities that befall societies. The calamities that befall societies, normally they happen because Allah Jalla wa'ala wants those people to go back to him, to repent to him. That's why Allah Jalla wa'ala says, فَلَوْلَا إِذِ جَاءَهُمْ بَأْسُنَا تَضَرَّعُوا Hadn't they humble themselves before Allah Jalla wa'ala when they see the calamities befalling them? Why didn't they do that? وَلَكِنْ قَسَدْ قُلُوبُهُمْ But their hearts become, became hardened and they did not repent to Allah Jalla wa'ala. We see everywhere, we see injustice taking place everywhere. We see injustice against our brothers and sisters in China, in India, in many, in Syria, in many other places. And the world is not doing anything regarding that, especially certain countries that exercising in more injustice against our brothers and sisters. Allah is causing this to happen. So people 
might repent to Allah Jalla Ala and think of Him and stop these sins. ظهر الفساد في البر والبحر بما كسبت أيدي الناس. This is happening because of what people have earned, what they have done. The last thing, my dear respected <coughs> brothers and sisters, apart from putting our trust on Allah Jalla Ala and having tawakkul on Alay, we need to make our dhikr. Our dhikr is the real protection. Before we are talking about medicine and our other measures to protect ourselves, we need to talk about dhikr of Allah Jalla Ala. The Prophet Sallallahu told us that in the morning and in the evening there are certain dhikr that will protect us from everything. When we go to bed, there is a dhikr. When we leave the house, there is a dhikr. There is a dhikr for cure. There is a dhikr for, for protection. Learn those adhkar. Allah Jalla Ala will protect us. It is the main protection after tawakkul of Allah Jalla Ala. May Allah Jalla Ala protect us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wow, wow, wow. Such an amazing video right here. Um, what do you think, guys? What do you think? Uh, you think it's a punishment? Or you think it's a man-made type of thing that was just created to uh, uh, to create instability in the world or something like that? Just let me know in the comment section. Okay, I'm going to put out my, my view. Um, I'm not refuting what uh, he's saying. Probably... It can be a punishment. Maybe it's a punishment from 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 God, and uh, but again, it could be just uh, just like any other diseases out there that is just being uh, created in the lab and being thrown out there to the people. Um, I believe that. There's always an agenda whenever all these things happen, you get it? All these uh, viruses that has been, you know, occurring or coming up and, and going uh, or diseases or something like that since inception like uh, HIV, uh, Ebola and uh, uh, bad flu and stuff like that. I think um, there's a lot of speculations that such, such diseases come in uh, through man-made uh, creation or something like that. I mean, it's not like natural, um, created just from just out of nowhere. All these things are made in the lab, uh, according to people out there. And this could be one of them. Coronavirus could be one of those uh, vi uh, viruses that was created in the lab and put it and um, put out there for for people to you know um, get infected and probably die. And the agenda could be. Um, maybe uh, they want to po depopulate the, 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 the world to maybe a number, a certain number of people that they can control um, nicely or something like that. Because um, this virus has been actually predicted by so many people. Uh, Bill Gates predicted it. So like they're going to be a virus that's going to wipe out a lot of people. And then there is a book that is called um, The Eyes of the Darkness, something like that. It was written by a guy called David in, uh, I think, 1980 something. Let me check it out. Uh, 1981. So the book, um, in the book, it actually predicts like where the virus uh, started and where it started from and whatnot, like Wuhan, China, and all those kind of things. I mean, who could have just perfectly written down uh, that particular place, Wuhan, China, and and then uh, all of a sudden it just happens that this virus will just appear from Wuhan, China. I mean, this thing looks like it's staged. It looks like there are people, uh, there are people who knew that this thing is coming. There are people who knew from own start of from their own go that all this thing is coming, but probably they didn't have a specific date, a specific time, and all those kind of things. You understand? So, I uh, what the guy was saying about this is a punishment from Allah. It could be true, but again, it could be uh, not hundred percent true. It could be just you know something that humans created to perfect their agenda to make sure that uh, they fulfill their agenda which is depopulating the 
um, the the world to a certain level of of, of people so that they can control them there's a lot of speculations again like there's some people who are saying that um, maybe it's a punishment for uh, the Chinese people or something like that because they are cruel type of people and according to one person who was saying that um, Chinese like um, they mishandle or maybe mistreat uh, the Muslims and uh, the Christians in China and probably they put them in a, in a dungeon or something like that and uh, some even just go in churches and remove crosses and all those kind of things I don't know how true that is but there's a lot of speculations and whatnot uh, and also another thing like uh, maybe the Chinese people just you know uh, the people who just eat everything and I, I had also like they they eat people and all those kind of things and whatnot I mean um, this thing could be true at a certain percentage but um, nobody knows I mean nobody knows nobody knows the truth but I'm 100% sure that one day it's gonna come out this is just speculation from people and also um, this guy who was talking about the, the virus and how it's a punishment to, to the world um, this is just speculations and this is just um, maybe what he thinks and maybe what he believes and it might be true it might be not so anyway um i appreciate everybody who's been listening and the virus is is, is uh you know it started it started as a joke but now it's just all over the world and uh the who has declared that it's a world uh, epidemic type of thing and a lot of places have been closed down a lot of people have been uh, told to stay in the house flights have been cancelled um, a lot of things are happening around people are going into the supermarket to just buy uh, stock food you know so that they can be able to sustain themselves for the rest of the days um, that are staying in the house or something like that where I am in Cyprus uh, we're having uh, cases of coronavirus too and some places are on the lockdown I mean uh, all the universities are not operating at the moment until 22nd of uh, of March I mean it's really sad it's really really sad and I don't know what their agenda is but pretty soon we're gonna see what's probably what what this is all about but hope that it won't go far and I hope that we won't turn into Ap uh, apocalyptic type of uh, <laughs> society you know so anyway um thank you so much if you feel like i react to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about uh this video over here just let me know the comment section below what do you think you think um it's a punishment from allah you think it's a punishment from god or you think it's just a man-made type of virus that was created uh for certain agenda that probably we don't know and just let me know the comment section below what do you think what do you think just give me your view and we can just chop it up together and um, the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and uh, the most most important thing guys is stay safe make sure to uh, watch out over your friend and um, take preventive measures and stuff like that make sure you wash your hands make sure you you don't go where there's a crowded area of crowded places and whatnot just make sure you take care of yourself and educate other people who don't know about the coronavirus and whatnot uh, last but not the least guys uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out